How are you, wonderful people? Last summer, and I think it was in August, I got these Holbein watercolor set. This wa watercolor set by Holbein. And a light blue Medine watercolor palette that I wanted to fill with those paints. I have seen and watched many reviews on those paints and they are supposed to be very good. They don't use Oxgall in the Holbein watercolors, so they are vegan, with some exceptions. It depends on the pigment, like the ivory black is uh, made from charred bones, so this is not vegan. But there's there's no um, animal stuff in the binder and stuff, so that's what I want. Why I wanted to try them. The colors in the set are very beautiful and vibrant, and they're very easy to use, even after they're dried up in the palette. Here you can see me filling the paints. In the pans, which I label, of course. The consistency of this paint is very nice. After drying up in the pans, they um, shrank a little bit, but it wasn't dramatic. I had some issues with the color selections in this set. There are many vibrant colors and that wasn't the issue for me, but many of those colors are mixed in with white. And I'm not sure why, because in watercolors, when I want to use the colors in a lighter tone, I don't mix in white, but use a little bit of water to um, dilute the paints. All in all, there are... Um, five or six mixes with white, which is a little bit sad, I think. And also there's a gray, which is just a black mixed with white um, color. And I don't really understand why they would include this. So the color selection is a, bit, a little bit confusing for me. Here you can see um, the swatches. Uh, that I have made uh, with all the pigments that are in the set. Of course, I didn't stop there. I tried and painted a little bit with this, these paints. And as you know me, I like a more um, muted color palette in my paintings. And that's what I did too. The colors were were very easy to mix and actually made a very nice result. Because there is no ox skull in them, and now you can see it in uh, real time speed, the paint doesn't flow as much as it would with ox skull added to it. Of course, if you want um, these paints to run and, and mix, as you know it from other watercolors, you could easily add Oxgall to them. But, as I said in the beginning, it's the charm that they don't have it in there. I had no issue with these paints at all, but I found them a little bit hard to lift um, when I played with them. The mixes were very nice. I liked the colors. Um, the only thing that really bothered me was the added white to so many of those colors in the set. I'm sure that Holbein has other colors in its range where there is no white added. They sell this set and it's labeled as transparent watercolors and by adding white they the colors lose their transparency a little bit at least so that's what bothered me a little bit because of that I had 
a hard time um, connecting with them and connecting to the set. That's why it took me so long to finally make a review. Although I poured them um, in the pans in August too. I just got to play with them in December and January. In January. Um, but I still wanted to make the review and tell you a little bit about my experience and my opinion about them. If you like, you can try them out too. They are really nice quality, they are really pigmented. But please make sure that if you get them, get maybe a set that has less of those white mixes. But I think in the Asian colors there are still some that do that too. Like in the Kuritaki um, watercolors there's also um, mixes with white available. In the end here you can see the finished painting that I did with those colors and the speed paint for that is also available on the channel and already published. If you have any uh, questions about this set or anything else, um, please leave a comment down, down below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!